Hey you guys, today's lesson is from Monday, April 20th. I hope you guys are all doing okay. I hope you had a good weekend. Hopefully this week is a little warmer so we can spend more time outside. So first, a big thank you to you and your family for turning in your, your packets. I know I said thank you before, but I really appreciate it. I know you guys put in a ton of work on this, on these packets. I don't expect them to be perfect. Um, I just want you guys to be able to practice some of the skills that you and I have been working on at school before we took this long break. Talk to your moms and dads about the things that we did, like marking up words or solving math problems using specific strategies. So I know you have a new math packet, or a new packet, we talked about that already as well. Same idea. Just do your best on it. If you have questions, let me know. I signed everybody up for Moby Max. Your sign-in, um, username, and password is your lunch code. If you don't remember your lunch code, just have your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa shoot me a balloons text, and I'll get that for you. No problem. It's not required, but it's a really cool program. I know you remember us looking at it and using it a little bit. It has everything from math to reading to writing to even science. So I won't put assignments on it. I'll let you guys do your practicing at your own pace, but I think it'll be really cool if you're able to, to get on there and check out a couple of those activities. All right, jumping back to what we would be working on if we were in class today on Monday. We're still looking at those double vowel teams. As you can tell with how much time we've been spending on those double vowel teams, those double vowel teams are really important when it comes to figuring out how to sound out a new or unknown word or how to spell it as, as well. So OU we know can make two sounds, but the one we're going to focus on today, today is the, the owl sound as in trout. So thinking about OU, some of the words that we're going to tap out and write today have the k sound in them. So if you hear a k sound in your word, here's two good rules for us to remember. If you hear a k sound, if it really is a k, your k will usually come before the vowels e, I or Y, like in key. If you hear the K sound, but it turns out to be a C, you're going to have a C with a K sound if that C comes before A, O, or U, like cat, okay? Two really simple ones. So what we're going to do today is we're going to tap out some of these words, and then we're gonna use our uh, rules up here to help us to, to write them down, okay? So let's think about the word cloud. K -l, and then we hear that owl sound, so we're gonna put two fingers together. K -l, ow, so two fingers together, I'm trying to do as best I can. D, cloud. So uh, starting off, we hear that k so in the beginning, we know there's an l and then there's an owl sound. Well, remember, going back here, if we hear the k sound, if it comes before an a, o, or u, that's probably gonna be a c. So let's try and start with a c for cloud. K, l, we know that's an l, Owl, that owl sound, we know there's several ways that we can make it, and some of it we just have to do trial by error, but in this case we know we're focusing on the owl sound that comes from OU, so we're going to use that today. D, and that's a D. Now let's take our hands, we don't even have to clap it because we see that we have a vowel team, which means it only really, that represents one vowel in this case, so it's going to be one syllable, we're going to clap it anyway. Cloud. One syllable equals one scoop. We have a line under C, a line under the L. That ow, we're going to circle and put a D because it's a double 
Val team, okay? All right, the next one is the word found, like you found your lost Lego. So, put those two fingers together because we hear that ow. Ow, n, d, found. Well, we don't have to worry about the K or C sound right now. So let's go to F. We know it's an F. Ow, we have those two fingers together representing that one sound that those double vowel teams make. We know it's O, U, N, that N, and that D. So let's scoop it, circle the double vowel syllable and put a D, and underline that blend. N and D, okay? The next one we're gonna do, let's do ground, like your ice cream fell on the ground. So, G, R, OW, so that O, U, we make one tap, but two fingers together. N, D, ground. So we hear the G, G, R, ow, we have those two fingers making that one sound. We know it's an O, U, because it has an ow sound, and we're talking about the O, U making the ow sound today. Mm, d, ground. Let's tap it out, clap it out. Ground, one syllable, one scoop. Underline that blend. Uh, o, U, circle that, underline an N and the D as well, okay? Um, one, try at home, try ouch. Try the word ouch at home and see if you can mark that up. And then after that, think of the word noun, think of what that word means, and then tap it out and see if you can write it out. So ouch and noun are two that I would work at home. Okay, so if we were at school working on our math lesson today, um, we would be reviewing for our math test, which means we would probably have our test on Monday. I'm probably going to spend a couple days doing this math review with you, so um, we're going to work on certain types of problems on specific days. So this is kind of going back to the beginning of our chapter when we talked about tallies using tallies to keep track of information. Uh, a lot of the times when we use tallies, we're keeping track of like votes we made. Maybe we're picking which movie we wanna watch for our uh, reward day. I took a tally. I think we did that for Christmas as well. So up here, we're gonna pretend that we are in class and we we're talking about our favorite Yogurt um, flavor, yogurt flavor, Ugh, we should make it ice cream. We'll pretend it's ice cream. So our favorite ice cream flavor, it's probably why there's not chocolate, I guess that's why that's, that's yogurt, because you probably want to have a chocolate yogurt. So up here we have peach, and we see that we have three votes for peach. Berry, we have five votes. Lime has two, lime's so underrated. And vanilla, we have seven. So down here, we went ahead and used that data to make a, our tally chart. We gave it a title. This is one of those simple ones. Just tell the reader what information they're going to be getting here. Well, that title needs to simply tell them it's our favorite yogurt, or we could say favorite yogurt flavor if we want to put that in there. If you want to follow along and write this down at home, that's totally cool. Pause the video and write this down and keep track of it with me. If you want to come up with your own tally chart, I've given you a bunch of different ways that you could come up with a tally chart. S certain topics, whether it's the t colors of Legos you have, or the types of ice cream that you like, maybe the flavors you uh, like. Could even be as silly as your, your family's favorite day. I bet you most people are going to vote for Friday or Saturday. So up here, we have our two columns. We need to make sure we have our labels telling what information we're gonna find in that column. The first one is the types of yogurt. So we simply put yogurt up here. We put the flavors, peach, berry, lime, and vanilla. And then on the right side, we put tallies. 
So for peach, we have three. We have three tallies, so we go here and three lines. Berry is five. Remember the trick for writing five with tallies is you do one, two, three, four lines, and then a line going across. That, that is the symbol for five. Um, lime, two, and then vanilla, seven. We're gonna write this with our special way. We're gonna put a five in there, and then we're gonna add that two. So we'll do one, two, three, four lines, cross it out with that other line, showing it's five, and giving it two. So it says, some of the questions they would ask us on this test is like, how many friends chose berry and peach together? Well, let's go to peach, and we see we have three, and we have berry, which mean, uh, is five, so five plus three gives us a total of eight. That's information that might be important to um, whoever's keeping track of this, okay? Um, it asks, did more uh, friends choose peach than lime? Well, yeah, it was close. Peach had three, Lime had two, Peach had one more vote than Lime. Um, more f did more friends choose vanilla than any other flavor? Well, yeah, definitely. The flavor that um, is closest to how many vanilla had at seven is berry. Berry had five, vanilla had seven, which means that vanilla had two more votes than, um, than berry. And if we wanted to figure out how many kids voted total, we can go up here or we go down here and total it up. I like to look for two numbers that equal a total of 10. So seven plus three equals 10, plus five is 15, plus two more is 17. So 17 kids voted for it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue working uh, on our PAS lesson talking about being polite. And we're going to talk about our body language and how our voice conveys what we're really feeling. And then I have a, a book for you by our favorite author, Peter Brown. So I'll talk to you in a moment.